Question 52. You are trying to figure out which of the following cases does there exist a non-zero magnetic field that can be conveniently determined by using Ampere's law, the closed loop integral of B dot DL equals mu naught I in, and this is the magnetic field DL would be the length of the Amperian loop, and I inside would be the current inside the Amperian loop. But again, that word conveniently is an important one. Now, a and B, these charges are not moving. Therefore, there is no magnetic field. The magnetic field is equal to zero. So A and B are not it. You should have already, at this point, derived the magnetic field inside a very long current carrying solenoid. That is the answer. You used Ampere's law to do so. Now we'll talk about why D and E are not correct answers. Uh, at the center of a current carrying loop of wire, well, you used biot savarts law, or biot savant law, to determine that. Uh, so you didn't use Ampere's law to, de to determine that. As far as E, outside a square current carrying loop of wire, uh, in order to, to use Ampere's law, you have to be able to set up an Amperean loop, and when you do so, that magnetic field needs to be constant, and the angle between the magnetic field and the wire itself needs to either be zero or 90 degrees, uh, in order to conveniently use Ampere's law. And you cannot find an Ampere loop outside a square current carrying loop of wire uh, where that is the case. So E is also not correct.